morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Today's Thursday. I believe it's February 22nd, and it's about 9.30. So I haven't really filmed much this week just because nothing is going on. I'm, the majority of my life has been me training at the new restaurant. The training here is super extensive. It is a chain where I'm working, so you know they have a very detailed, structured plan that every trainee has to go to or go through before they make it on the floor. So I think I am on... Um, shift number five or training shift number five and there's eight and then i have to take a test and the test is like over 200 questions long and then if i pass that then i get on the floor apparently there's good money on the other side of that so i'm sticking it through and and just doing what i gotta do i guess um my mom left i guess what's today today's thursday she left uh monday so three days ago and that's what I've been doing because I didn't work when she was here. So I've just been training and then just trying to get the house situated and everything. But yeah, for today, the plan is we're going to go to the gym right now. Taz is walking the pups, going to the gym. I'm going to do a lower body workout and then we're going to come home. I have to ha have a meeting today with Athleta at two to just talk logistics. And then I have to go to work. So today's not super exciting, but it's just what my life looks like right now. Before I forget, two things that I need to remind you guys of. The link for my challenge is in, in the description description box below. There are only a couple days left to register since I have to get everybody's information out to them so they can start on the 5th. So again, it is going to be a four week challenge where you get a home workout and a gym workout in case you can't make it to the gym all days. Uh, you'll have sample meal plans, you'll have a yoga flow to follow. Um, I'll put everything in the description box so you guys can read it, but it's going to be one of the best challenges I've ever held and I'm really, really excited for it. Um, so again, the link will be in the description box below. And then also, if you haven't RSVP'd to the Houston meetup at Athleta on March 10th, please do so. Remember that Athleta is giving away 50 like Athleta bucks to the person that brings the most friends. So on top of the 25% off that you'll be getting the entire store, if you bring the most family or friends, you will get a $50 gift card from me and Athleta. So if you are planning on coming, make sure to RSVP with the link below and let us know. We want to be prepared. Whew, I think that's it. Okay, so with all that said, I'm going to finish getting ready and let's go get this leg workout in. Okay, guys, coming at you with a voiceover. It's been forever, but let's just get right into it. I am starting off with some banded walks. I did lateral, and then here I am doing just a straight walks and then going back with the reverse. This is just to kind of activate the muscles, activate the glutes. Uh, moving on to the hip raises with a band and an abduction, so it's just kind of like a pulse out. I'm going to have the entire workout in the description box below. Um, from there, I went into more activation of the glutes and I was just doing a lateral raise. I did, I believe I did 10 on each side and you see me pretty much touching myself throughout this video because I am really trying to make that mind muscle connection. We moved on to the kickbacks. So again, the band is over my knees and here I am again, touching my body, <laughs> touching the glutes to make sure that I'm really focusing on that glute muscle. And then also I have my hand on my core to make sure that I'm squeezing the core throughout the movement. Beginning with the workout, we start with banded squats. I do three sets of 10 followed by a superset of RDL with dumbbells. So you'll see that right after I finish my last rep, I'm gonna put down the barbell, pick up those dumbbells. I was doing, I believe I was doing 25 pound dumbbells here, and I was just doing into a Romanian deadlift, keeping that back nice and straight. Core is tight throughout the entire movement and you're really pushing away through those heels. Moving on, we did banded hip thrusts. Again, I have the band above my knees and I went a little bit lower on the hip thrusts here, so I am holding at the top for about two seconds. So you're gonna come up, hold for two, and come back down. I did three sets of 10, and this superset, it was a little bit of a funny one, but it's just to make sure that we are exhausting those muscles. So I'm sitting on the bench, and I am just abducting out with a pulse. So my feet are on the floor, and my knees are coming out with a little pulse, and coming back in. I did 15 of these. 
So for the next superset, I got a little bit creative and I took that barbell and I just placed it how you would for a landmine. I got in front of that weight, so the weight was behind me, and all that's changing in this is where the weight is placed. So since it's behind me, it's gonna be displaced on my body differently. You wanna follow the same form for an RDL, keeping that back and core tight. And then now I went straight into like a front squat variation. The same uh, form applies here as well. You wanna push through those heels. Knees are coming out instead of caving in. And you see how I kind of moved back to kind of find the perfect, like that nice spot uh, so that the form is 100% perfect. From there, this was a new one for me. This is a sissy squat. And so what you wanna do for here is get on your toes and you want your knees to track over the toes. You wanna keep your hips straight. That's why I'm holding my hips right there to kind of like keep me um, in check. And I did eight of these followed by the death. I did uh, hip curls on a rower. So I put my foot on the seat and lifted up those hips extended out, came back in and dropped. You'll see that I'm kind of struggling here. These burned so much. I literally felt like my hamstrings were about to break. Then from here, Taz wanted to finish with a little bit of like a hit. So we did the ski erg and uh, plank variations. So we did a Tabata style. So we did 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds on the ski erg um, or the plank. And then we rested for 10 while we switched and then just repeated that five times. You see me, I'm just doing a lot of plank variations. I did the saw plank. I did the um, shoulder taps. Uh, really, really slow mountain climbers, really focusing on the core and tightening every little thing. So you see here, I have my knees coming in um, and I'm just holding it at the top and then again, finishing with the skier. So that is the workout guys. Please let me know if you enjoyed this voiceover and I will do more of these. But thank you so much for watching and I will continue with the video. Love you guys. What's up guys? We're home. Just got home from the gym. And I look ridiculous because I feel ridiculous. <laughs> my eyes started like pounding like behind my eyes in the car. And it's actually a very gloomy day here in Houston. So I put on these glasses and I'm feeling a little bit better, but like my eyes are still like pounding. I wanted to come on and tell you guys that I literally just hit a wall. <laughs> Taz and I are both like, <gasps> like that. <laughs> um, it's 12.15. And I have to shower and get ready to go to my meeting at Athleta and then going to work. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog right here. Not vlog. This video right here because that's all that's happening. And I just wanted to get something up for you guys of value and not just me like, hey, I'm going here. Hey, I'm going there. So I wanted to get this workout up for you guys. My legs are jello. Do that workout. Let me know how you like it. And don't forget, you have a couple days to sign up for my challenge. I want uh, to close registration off, I want to say Monday is what I'm going to do so that I can get all the paperwork out and everyone gets their programs by, I want to say, Friday so we can start on Monday um, and you guys all have your stuff ready, ready to go. So. If you are interested in the challenge, click on the link below. And then also, if you are interested in coming to the Houston meetup at Athleta on March 10th, that link will also be below. Please, please, please RSVP for two reasons, so that you can get your invite to the event, and that's 25% off the entire store. And then also, Athleta just needs a number to gauge how many people will show up. So if you're in the Houston area, Texas area, um, well, I guess not Texas, because Texas is huge, but if you are planning on coming to the Athleta meetup in Houston, Click the link below and we will get you all set up. I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, one more thing. Who's going to the Arnold? Because I'll be there next week. Whoa, whoa. Can't wait. Okay, that's it. Goodbye, guys. I love you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.